Hello, my friends. Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Man Cave. I uh, worked pretty hard this morning and uh, made some good progress on the wall. Uh, I kind of got a late start because uh, we had guests in the rental retreat, and the first thing I needed to do was bobcat work, and I didn't want to start that up until they were awake. They said they'd be awake by 7, so I started it working at 7. <laughs> And uh, I would have started at six otherwise. And then uh, I guess this is working because I see people scrolling up already. Uh, Christia Thompson, Thomason looks like the first one. Lucy Girl uh, is the second one. Uh, and uh, we got 26 viewers, it says. Dottie Hildebrandt, well, that's, that's a first. There's three gals in a row. <laughs> that's, I don't think I've ever seen that before. So... Uh, Maybe we're, maybe we're making a switch here. There's Gary Boer. Thank you, Gary, for joining in. And uh, Paul Galut uh, Wilke from Norway. I don't know how to say that name, but uh, anyway, thank you for joining from Norway. Well, um, I'm going to probably keep this one short, uh, and I'm hoping that the sound is coming out okay. I did a test recording before we went live, and it had kind of a buzz to it, but... You know, I didn't know what was causing it, so I just decided to just go ahead and go live and see what happens. Um, Lee Duffield and uh, like Paul, he says. Okay, Paul. Well, thank you, Paul. Um, Scott Roberts there now, too. So anyway, now it says we got 49 viewers, so it changed really fast. Well, let me just go ahead and show you the uh, short little video for today, and it'll show you that I did make some real progress this morning. I've done quite a bit more work on the leveling of this pad, and I went and got one big bucket of gravel off, basically just scraped it off where it's run off of the county road. With the big rains, it washed a big pile of it out. So I just picked up a scoop of that, and am tamping it in and getting it level in preparation for laying the block. You can see how I've tamped that area right there. And I think I'm gonna use that as my level. I have been shooting this with a laser level and have a pretty rough idea. The horsefly <coughs> and the other bugs are making it nearly impossible to work out here. The heat is bad enough, but the horseflies and the other bugs are driving me bonkers. So I don't know how much more I can stand. But I'm going to try to get a few blocks started at least, and I'll show you the progress as I make some. Well, I've made some good progress. I uh, started with the laser level, got it, you know, level so that I think I could carry it out the full length of the wall. I went and got some gravel, laid it in there, and then I'm pounding it as I go, laying the block level and every plane as I go and you can see how far I've got. Um, it's about 9.30 in the morning. I started at about 7. And I first had to do a lot more grading on the, on the plot here. So I've really only been laying block for about uh, 30 minutes or so, 40 minutes, something like that. So it's going pretty fast. That little pipe you see, there's a little bit of a seepage area through that part of the wall. So I've got a pipe there with some holes drilled in it to let that seepage run out. I'm not even too worried about it. Even if it didn't run out, it'd be fine. But I do have some fall in that pipe. And uh, if the water builds up back there, it'll run on out to where the spring is there. And it'll be just fine. I'm not too worried about the rest of this. It's been bone dry the whole time. And it's a very narrow, shallow wall. So... I'm just not too worried about it. If the water runs through it, that's just perfectly fine with me. I think it's going to be just fine. It's a lot of work, very heavy uh, blocks. They're about 70 pounds a piece. So it's a workout. Well, that's where I'm going to leave it for the first day. That's a little over an hour's worth of block laying. That's not too bad for an hour or so. Maybe an hour and 20 minutes. I don't really know if I've had that much time in the actual laying of the block or not. It's working out real well. It's real flat, real level. And, you know, I think I'll put one more block on top of that. And then I'll anchor it with the uh, mesh that they give you and uh, some gravel. And, of course, I'll do some backfill with gravel probably first thing in the morning and get that all backfilled. Uh, there's a little bit of space behind the block, not very much. 
but I'll fill all of that with gravel. I will tell you for sure there wasn't a dry stitch of cloth on me when I got done with that. Uh, I am not kidding you, I was soaked all the way through. And uh, I know that uh, most of you would say, and you need to drink a lot of water. Well, I drank the sum total of none. I, I, that's funny about me and water. I, you know, most people have to drink a lot of water and, and when they're sweating like that, I, it doesn't affect me. I don't know why, it just doesn't. I guess it's cause I started at such a young age and back in the 60s, uh, you know, you're out there and cutting those lawns all day long. And I mean, all day long. I mean, like from, you know, seven in the morning till seven at night. Uh, we were cutting lawns a lot of times and when I was just a little bitty kid, you know, and um, never have any water. Back then, nobody thought to bring water with you. I mean, we had like a water jug on the truck and maybe you'd drink a little bit out of that, but maybe, maybe you'd catch a mouthful out of a faucet on the side of a house. But I just learned how to work without drinking a lot of water and it just doesn't seem to make any difference to me. I can work hours and hours and hours in the sun and never really need any water but i know it's everybody says you're not supposed to do that but it doesn't seem to affect me at all so i just do what i do because it just works but uh i know somebody will say oh there's going to be a problem with that but i've been doing it my whole life and it hasn't been a problem yet and there's no way i could have got that much work done if i would have ate my vegetables <laughs> The only reason I can work that hard and get that much work done at my age is because I didn't eat vegetables my whole life. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many beliefs out there that if you don't do this or you do that or you don't do this, you know, you're going to have a problem. And I don't know that I agree with any of that stuff. I, I think it's all individual on the on an individual case basis. Um, I think everybody's different and. Uh, what works for one person may or may not work for the next. But I do know uh, we made some decent progress there today. And uh, considering that uh, more than half of the time was spent on the Bobcat, uh, I didn't you know, show that in the video, but I actually did most, uh, most of the time this morning was on the Bobcat. So less than half the time was laying block. And I only worked for just a little over two hours total. So, you know. Anyway, it's, uh, I think tomorrow, uh, since tomorrow I should be able to just concentrate on block, I should get quite a bit done tomorrow, I would think. And plus I'll start an hour earlier, I'll start at six, cause I won't be making any particular noise laying the block, other than me grunting and groaning. <laughs> I was doing quite a bit of that. Well, we're going to keep it short today, so I'll just go to questions and see if there's any questions here. Um, Spike Moto says, I joined late and may have missed your mentioning it. Do you ever pour a footing for these types of walls? Uh, you can, but very seldom do you actually pour a footing for a, a block wall. Um, some people will or do, but generally, uh, generally what you do is you dig down a little bit deeper fill the little trench with gravel and pound it well in my case i'm actually pounding the gravel slightly above grade um it's just easier and i'll backfill that grade you know so i'll you know that whole area there uh is going to get filled with gravel and uh so the first block will be about halfway below uh grade with gravel and then, of course, I'm going to have a big concrete pad in that area, too. So concrete's going to go right over against the block down, down low. So the block itself is going to be pretty stable. Um, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, our ground here is pretty darn hard, too. So, um, again, it's, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Uh, like I said, I built that 140-foot wall behind the house here. And it's like six foot tall, and it was much heavier block. It, each one of those blocks weighed 90 pounds, and uh, it took a lot of block there. Um, and uh, it's it after I guess it's been at least at least 10 years. No, it's been longer than that. I think it's been at least 10 years, and it hasn't moved at all. So I'm I'm just fine, and I basically did it the same way. Look like I got a super chat there from somebody. I don't see it on the in my window now it popped up there for a minute 
but thank you whoever that was and for whatever you did there it may have been a uh, instead of a super chat it might have been a, a a subscription or something i i didn't get to read it i was busy looking here um bill mumbo you're one of those aliens jerry admit it <laughs> yeah you know i think i am uh just a short side story um <laughs> Yeah, it's just the way I'm put together. I'm put together different. I'm, I'm, I, like I've said before, I am a genetic defect. I am truly a genetic defect. It's there's things about me that shouldn't be, but they are, you know. And like uh, this one young guy from Fort Leonard Wood. Now keep in mind, he's he's our finest. He's a soldier, and uh, he wanted to come and help me when we were renovating the apartment next door here uh, that's attached to the house. Uh, anyway we were going to renovate that and fix it up well he wanted to help me so we're in there and we're working pretty much all day and i'm not exaggerating every five minutes he stopped to drink water now i didn't drink water the whole time you know <laughs> but every five minutes he had to take a break and drink water and here i'm at least i was probably close to 40 years older than him you know and it didn't bother me <laughs> i just kept working you know but it, so I don't know. I just I think it's all in what you get used to and how you're how you were raised and all that. But I also there's a genetic defect effect to me too. There's something wrong, something different about me. Uh, like I said, you know, the you got the taste thing. I got the color blindness, the night blindness. I got the gigantic lungs. I got um, I don't know. There's just all kinds of craziness that I've got that just isn't normal, you know. And like that, my legs, um, the muscles in my legs. Now, on that pushing thing with the legs on those kinds of machines, I'm no, I'm just average. But on the one where you lift by putting the bar across your ankles, I'm off the charts. I can, I can lift everything they got on the machine. And then I had my coach when this was in high school. I had, I lifted every single weight they had on the machine with my ankles and then the coach goes there ain't no way how do you do that and, and I said coach if you sat on there I can still pick it up and he's 200 pounds and he sat on top of all that and I still picked it up and I didn't do anything to make my legs like that that's just like I said it's just a genetic defect thing and um, I got a whole bunch of those things that are just weird about me I don't know I none of them are real bad other than the taste thing the taste thing I wouldn't wish that on anybody because the food thing is way bigger than most people think about because because everybody else is normal you don't think about the food thing because you you know you go to parties and you eat all this dips and junk that's got all this taste to it <laughs> where i'm the one that's always on the outside on the taste thing but uh, other than that uh, the color blindness thing isn't even that bad i mean it's it would be nice if, if i wasn't but i am you know anyway i'm just rambling um just just some of my craziness but you know uh, I'll be 69 in November and so far you know knock on wood that kind of work doesn't bother me hardly at all other than I'm just sweating like crazy because it's hard work and it's hot and those horse flies are so bad I mean I killed at least a half dozen of them out there and uh, as soon as you bend over they know you can't do anything and they land on your back or your neck or whatever Oh, it's so frustrating, <laughs> especially when you got a 70-pound block in your hands and you're leaning over and there's a horse fly on your back. And those things hurt, man. Uh, Gary Jebush says, love your man cave. Uh, how is it? And uh, well, so what you can't see is right here to my uh, left, I've got, you know, because this is like a, a, it's almost, instead of a double door, it's more like a triple door. It's almost like a garage door, really. Uh, in this inside this room and then there's a little short like a little almost like a closet over here I can't really show it to you I'll, I'll take the camera off for a second and maybe you can see it yeah there you go yeah you can see it and uh, so I got my 85 inch screen there <laughs> so it's I when we bought this farm I mean keep in mind everything was trashed and, but when I saw this room, I said, man, that's going to make a great theater. And so I, I had planned all along to put a big screen in there. And uh, I, I, back then, of course, they didn't have these kinds of TVs. So I was expecting to put up one of those just uh, projection TVs and make it a movie theater. 
but uh, now with the 85 inch screen that's a, it's almost like being at the movie theater when you're this close to the screen you know so anyway it's pretty cool I you know my wife said you know I, that I owed that to myself so I did it <laughs> After all these years of working so hard, I thought it was that was one of the few little things I've treated myself to. Um, let's see. So anyway, I guess that's about it for today. Um, I'm going to get off here and we'll probably have another vlog around this time tomorrow. And uh, we will show you some more progress, hopefully, if I don't smash my fingers or something stupid like that. We'll see you then.